I'm not always at my desk to record my podcast and have my full setup there. So I was looking for a microphone that might be able to hit the road with me. So I picked up this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. This is by Tonor, and uh, I think the name is inspired by the tone of my voice. Now, this microphone here might be my new microphone for recording podcasts, especially when I'm not at my computer. I'm not going to break down all the hardware off my desktop and take it with me everywhere I go. So I was thinking about another microphone that could just sit in my backpack, and this one might be it. And I will tell you, right off the bat, what we get here in this box is a beautiful... USB to USB-C cable right here and it's pretty long like six feet long so you're gonna have plenty of cableage now here is the microphone itself and I will tell you I am pretty impressed by what I see here so first of all we get a little thumb screw here I can swivel this down we have three metal legs that I can extend out little rubber ball feet there and now I can tighten this back down angle the microphone back up you can see that the microphone right here has a nice cylindrical design but what you might be able to see right there is that it is on a noise isolating mount so we have these little rubber bungee cords right there so it's not physically connected or hard Hard mounted to anything so that if you tap the table or hit the stand here a little bit this microphone is insulated from that right and then in front of there we have a windscreen too so that's pretty impressive now I also want to show you that up at the top it looks like we have a little button here so we should be able to mute this when I go <coughs> or <coughs> new guy in the corner puking his guts out now I want to show you here on the back there is the USB-C plug right there now depending on what connection you're computer has you may need an adapter for this so for me connecting it to my macbook air i'm actually going to need the usb to usb c adapter but if you have another laptop or if you're using this with your desktop computer then you don't have to worry about that you can just plug it straight in all right so i've got it plugged in here and i'm actually using a usb c to usb c cable so i'm not using the adapter you won't have to worry about that but before we record anything with it i want to show you that there are lights inside this microphone too so i'm getting kind of this cascading changing ambiance to it beautiful lights very soothing very relaxing but more important it's just showing me that the sucker is on it's being powered I'm not talking into the microphone while it's dark and finding out an hour later that I didn't record a podcast I also want to show you here that if I tap this button right there it goes red red not recording so that's really cool and then if i just tap it again boom we're back to those colored lights and it is just recording just like that the other thing that i discovered about this is that there is a knob up here at the top this is actually the gain so i can turn it down and turn it up right up here at the top you can see the little dots there indicating the gain this down here actually controls the lights and i should have known that with that little light icon so if i turn it this way the lights are still on but obviously they are kind of dim as dim as you can make them but if i turn it this way now they are really bright i actually like them super bright but if you're filming and you're getting some glare off your glasses or something like that then you can turn them down but i like them up if some is good more is better oh, 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 oh. all right let's test the audio quality all right, so I have switched to my FaceTime camera and the toner microphone on my MacBook Air. So that's what I'm recording on. And I have been playing with the gain. I've got it turned all the way up so I can sit back a little bit from the microphone, you know, so I can get myself in the shot here. So this is kind of what you would expect if you were using this microphone to record videos, instructional videos. You know, take your Zoom meetings, your Teams meetings with this. I think the people on the other end of the call will really appreciate getting a more studio sound than just your computer sound or maybe that tiny hash sound, you know, that you can barely hear or it sounds all scratchy. So this toner microphone might be your companion not only for being productive at work, you know, interfacing with your coworkers or your clients or your boss or whoever, right? It might also be the best microphone that you can get for recording your podcasts, your videos, your YouTube videos, your live streams, whatever, because I think one, it looks great. It seems to have all the features like noise isolating and, you know, that cool lighting effect, kind of like a gamer, a live streamer microphone, but 
you can be the judge of what you think the audio quality is like. So I'm really excited about taking this along with me because between unscrewing that thumb screw, folding the legs back up, folding the legs into the back of the microphone, it's going to be really easy to travel with. And I don't think I'm going to be making any compromises in terms of audio quality. So if you want to pick up this toner microphone for whatever you're using it for, from work to play, I think you're going to really enjoy it. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. So much deeper We can live better than